だがある程度の処罰は覚悟しておけ Baby Door Advisory The following video contains drugs, violence, strong language, machine guns, human trafficking, killing, hentai, but not mother Ubuntu. Approved for all audiences. Yo, pay attention to this move. It is very critical for getting the best experience and no. First, you load all the way bottom right, and only then, you release full power. So, in GNOME 332, we have much smoother animations, plus better usage of RAM and CPU. And because of some API and JavaScript changes, even extensions work much faster now. And of course we have a much much better GTK theme. But the one change I fancy the most, is a drop of application menus, from shell top panel. Now the menus are part of GNOME apps, as they should have been at first place. That, doesn't only make GNOME apps more usable, and GNOME desktop more compatible with the non-GNOME apps, like Chrome or Visual Studio Code, that they never made use of app menus, but it also makes panel extension a dream. Some guys say, and I specifically highlight that for Cindric, the Lollipop developer, that panel extension changes GNOME Shell original workflow. Well, breaking news! There is not such thing as workflow by design. It is the actual features that create a workflow. And panel extension does exactly that. It adds features, without dropping out anything. It takes a useless top panel, and a hidden dock, a combination of insanity, and merges them into a logical thing. First up, we can easily see our running apps, without need to enter overview or navigating to workspaces. Then, there's the standard functionality, like Windows previews and quick launchers. Moreover, there are crazy lots settings, that allows us to adjust everything to our preferences. However, default settings maybe aren't super good, so you need to play a bit with them. Coolest part is that Dash the panel adds a gazillion things, without stealing additional space. And that in my opinion, makes it much better than Dash to Dock extension. And if you want even more space, you can use the auto hide. Yet another thing, is that panel extension doesn't affect shell performance. So, your shell will gain lots of new stuff, but it will still run at the same speeds. And as you can see, everything else remains the same as the original shell. Again, there is not such thing as a different workflow. Just more features, that make working with GNOME faster and more pleasant. That's perhaps the biggest change. We drag and drop on the panel, instead of the top left hot corner. Really huge change of workflow. Ha! When I was about to make this video, I only wanted to show you how to get this extension from GitHub. First because it has very active development, and second because you can open issues and give feedback, and help it to become even better. And after 3 minutes, I haven't even started. Crap. Next time maybe. Now it is time for death metal. Shortcake Hawaii. Candy Pedal Pedal. Chocolate no Kawade. Watagashi Kumamita.